First thing we want to do is take a flathead screwdriver and remove our oil fill cap. This is going to help the crankcase vent properly when draining our engine oil. Up next, using a 12mm socket, we'll go ahead and remove the drain bolt and let the engine oil drain completely. As the oil is draining, now is the time to check the condition of the crush washer. If it's damaged or missing, you want to replace it to prevent any leaks. Once it's done draining, we'll go ahead and reinstall the drain bolt and torque it to 15 foot-pounds. Now, using an 8mm socket, we'll go ahead and remove the oil filter cap. It's held in place with two 8mm bolts. You simply just unthread them and then pry the cap off. But as you pry the cap off, make sure you keep an eye on the spring because it could pop out and you don't want to lose that. Once the cap's off, check the condition of that o-ring as well. Now we'll just remove our old oil filter. I usually like to spray inside the case with a little contact cleaner to clean out those contaminants. Now, installing our new filter, we'll place it into the crankcase with the rubber grommet facing forward and then press our cap back in place and make sure our spring is centered. Then, we'll just reinstall our 8mm bolts and torque those to 9 foot pounds. Now it's time to fill the engine with oil. Kawasaki recommends to use Castrol Power One 5W40 motorcycle oil. It's, it's full synthetic here, and that's what they use, so that's what I'm doing here. And it holds 0.85 quarts. Now that it's filled, we'll go ahead and reinstall our oil fill cap. Just snug it down. Now we're gonna start the motorcycle up let it idle for about three to five minutes. That's gonna pump the oil through the system properly. Once it's done that, we'll shut the engine off and let it sit for another three to five minutes. Then we can get an accurate oil level. Now, at the right side of the motorcycle, you'll see a sight glass just below the brake lever. We want our oil level to be in the middle to upper portion of the sight window. And this looks perfect, guys. So let's hit the trails. 